Hi everyone. Today I'm going to give you a demo of Trisbox Serial on a TRS-80 Model 3 with a FRED hard drive emulator. Trisbox is a Dropbox client for your TRS-80. It allows you to view files in your Dropbox, get those files onto your TRS-80, and put them back into your Dropbox, all from the TRS-80. It does so using a DOS-like syntax with commands like dbdir to view files, dbcd to change your current drop Dropbox folder, and so on. I originally released Trisbox with support only for the MIs and the MEs, the Model 1 system expander or the Model 3 system expander. Since they have built-in TCP IP stacks and they make networking fairly easy, but now I have a version that will work on any TRS-80 that has a RS-232 serial interface installed. This would be the case with many TRS-80s, so there's probably about a 50-50 chance that your computer already has one. In addition to the RS-232 interface, you'll need some sort of serial to IP converter. I've used this one. It's an ATC-1000. And you can find them on Amazon for about 50 bucks. There are cheaper options, but I haven't tested them, so I can't guarantee they'll work properly. The ATC-1000 has been pretty reliable and works pretty well, so that's what I recommend at this time. You can see that one end connects to the RS-232 serial port on the TRS-80, and the other end plugs into an Ethernet port on your local network or broadband router. You need to make sure to use a null modem cable or a null modem adapter on the RS-232 side. So you need to configure your serial IP converter to talk to the Trisbox services. The ATC-1000 provides a web-based interface that allows you to manage the device. The first thing you need to set up is the connectivity to the Trisbox services which is done on the TCP settings page that you can see here. You can find all the necessary settings uh, for this page on the Trisbox Serial website. You'll also need to set up the UART settings, as shown here. And these are the serial port settings, and these are also detailed on the website. Next, you need to log into your Dropbox account through the Trisbox website. This is how you will give access to Trisbox to interact with your Dropbox. Now, when you click on the link to log in on the Trisbox website, you'll be redirected to the official Dropbox login page on the Dropbox server. And you can find that link right here. Now, this means that Trisbox never has access to your Dropbox username or password. Also, Trisbox will only have access to a special folder in your Dropbox called apps slash Trisbox. And this is where you will place all of your TRS-80 files. Now, after you log in, you'll be redirected back to Trisbox and you'll be given a token. You'll need this token later on, so keep a note of it. There's also a link on this page to download the Trisbox software. You notice that the software consists of two programs, DB5 and DB6. Previous versions of Trisbox had an application command file for each of the Trisbox commands. That's been consolidated and simplified in this release. So there are currently the two versions, one for LDOS 5 called DB5, that runs on the Model 1, Model 3, and the Model 4 in Model 3 mode. And then there's a, another one called DB6, that's for LS-DOS 6. That runs on the Model 4 with LS-DOS or TRIS-DOS 6 only. You can rename that DB5 or DB6 command to DB when you copy it to your TRS-80. 
and copying it to TRS-80 with a thread, it's easy to get the software into your TRS-80. All you have to do is simply copy the file to an SD card on your PC or Mac, and then use the thread import utility on your TRS-80 to put the software on your TRS-80 file system. Okay, now that we have everything configured and set up and we have the TRISBox software in the TRS-80, we can go ahead and start using TRISBox. You can type DB, and TRISBox will show you all of the possible commands you can use. The first one we're going to use is DB test. And this will test your serial to IP connection to the TRISBox services. If you get a success message like you see here, you're ready to move on to the next step. If not, there's some sort of an issue with your serial IP connection and you'll have to troubleshoot it. The next command to use is DB setup. Okay, and this is where you configure your TRISBOX settings. So you can provide your token, you can set the baud speed, and the connection type. Connection type would be either MISE or Serial. So for TRISBOX Serial, you would leave it as Serial. Now I already have a token configured, but I'm just going to go through those steps and re-enter it to show you how to enter your token. So you type DB Setup, Token, and then enter the token that you received when you logged into Dropbox. The token will change every time you log into Dropbox. So you may occasionally have to re-log into Dropbox from time to time as sessions are cleared out on the server. Now you should see a message that TRISBOX is ready, which we have there. And now you can start interacting with your Dropbox. Now with DB setup, you can also change your baud speed. I recommend you start with 300 baud until you're sure everything is working fine and then slowly increase the baud until you get you know, no longer reliable transfers and then back it out one setting. That way you will have the most consistent reliable baud speed. Now I've tested with a Model 3 and a Model 4 at 19.2K baud and it provides a very usable uh, experience with the ATC1000. It's almost as fast as working with a local floppy drive. Now remember, you'll need to change the baud speed in your serial IP converter settings to match the setting you set in DB setup. Otherwise, TRISBOX won't work. Okay, so now we're going to type DB dir. And you should see the contents of your Dropbox folder, apps slash TRISBOX. And we can change into different subfolders. Uh, I'm going to go into my high res folder. Directories. So I'm going to dbcd into my high res uh, folder. And you can type dbpwd at any time to see your current Dropbox folder. And you can see it tells us we're in slash high res. And we'll just see what's in here dbdir. So I want to test some high-res images on my Model 3 because I haven't played with my high-res board in a while. So I'm going to need an image to use with G-Load, which is the basic high-res image viewing tool for the TRS-80. So let me just uh, open my Drive 4, okay. Drive 4, my TRS-80 has my basic high-res commands, G-Load, GR off, GR on. Now I need a file to provide to G-Load to display in the machine. So I'm going to type db. And we'll just look at the content, contents of that high-res folder again. Uh, folder. And I'll type db get sulu dot bin sulu slash bin colon four. So you notice that you give the name of the source file on Dropbox in a modern file naming format that Dropbox supports, sulu.bin for instance. 
and the destination file needs to be a valid TRS-80 file specification. So you tell Trisbox where on which drive you want the file to go into. Of course, if you don't provide a, a drive number, it'll be put on your drive zero. Okay. Hit enter. And Trisbox gives you an indication of the file transfer progress and the speed with these docs that are showing up on the screen. With 19.2 KBOG that we're using here, each dot represents about 512 bytes of transfer. And you can see that file was almost 19K. So it should be almost finished. Okay, we're done. So let's test, we'll just see if the file showed up. Four. There it is, sudo.bin. And let's just test it. So we'll type gload, sudo bin. Uh, there's Hikaru Sulu. Okay. Now we can also put files from our TRS-80 into our Dropbox. So let me go to the root of my uh, Dropbox here. So B, C, D. So I have another folder called Star Trek. I'll just CD into there. And I'll go ahead and put that file that we copied before into the Star Trek folder. And I'll give it the name sudo.bin. You'll notice this time the source file is the TRS-80 file spec and the destination file is the valid Dropbox file name. Should be just about done. Okay. To be done. And there's the file. So that's Trisbox serial. If you have any questions, just uh, send me an email or get in touch through the Trisbox Serial website. Thanks.